What's going on guys? This is Big 2 from Brewbo Reviews. Welcome back to my channel. I have another really exciting double unboxing for you today. And today, as you can see, I have two Made in Japan Mizuno boots. The first, we're going to look at the Morelia Neo 2 Beta. And then we're also going to look at the Rebular 3 Made in Japan model. We're going to put the Rebulas aside for now and start with the Neo Beta. Open the box and it comes with a Made in Japan string bag. Um, I like uh, the normal black string bag. This is a special edition string bag, which is gold writing and gray bag, which is, I guess, meant to mimic silver because the boot's silver. Uh, but anyways, put that to the side. I don't really care about those. I care about the boot, so get these out. Close the box, out the way. There you go. And here they are. Now, before I do start, um, these dropped right on the day of either me filming the Morelia Neo 2 review or the day I uploaded. I can't remember. There was like a day apart between the two. Anyways, once I saw this, I was gutted. Because if I knew these were coming out, I would have done a review on a different boot. Bought these and probably done a review together or unboxing slash review uh, or slash comparison. But no, obviously, my dumb luck. Um, it dropped right after I posted or as I was filming and I was like, wow, I missed out on a big chance there. Uh, for those of you that may think uh, I did that uh, review just in time for the drop of these, I have like less than a hundred subscribers on YouTube. I am not that kind of plug. I don't have that much, that kind of information. It was just dumb luck, really. Um, so yeah, uh, here they are. Um, I'll just show you what the boots look like really quickly. And these look really, really good. I mean, honestly, I wish I knew these were coming out. There was no leaked pictures. There was no information about it. Um, I know um, a couple of YouTubers, um, actually went over to Japan and they knew about it, but they weren't allowed to say. So Mizuno really, really kept this tight. Um, most leaks happen from the actual brand guys. So Nike, Adidas, Puma, whatever other brands, when the pictures get leaked, it's not, you know, the employees going behind the back of the brands to make the leak. No, it's actually the brands allowing them to make those leaks. So with the case of Mizuno, they didn't obviously want these um, going out, nor the, uh, the Revolu 3. So there were no information until they dropped. Now, straight off the bat, uh, there's a lot of differences compared to the actual Morelia Neo 2, which I have right here. Um, I have, you've seen these before, the Fernando Torres version. And if you put them side to side, and I can actually feel the weight difference in the hand. Um, so first of all, the stitching on the leather. I'm going to try to get the focus on. Yep, on the normal model, you get double stitching. On the beta, you only get a single stitch. And what they've basically done is every little detail they put into the beta is to shed as much weight as possible. The next thing I noticed was the synthetic during, sorry, in the midfoot. Um, this is much more like what we see in the current X19 Plus or the old generations, uh, not old generations, so the limited um, 99 gram or the recently dropped um, X1999. Um, so you can see little cutouts of the inside liner there, mesh based, um, which looks really, really nice. And um, I think feels nice as well. Like not as nice as this, but still nice enough. Um, the leather as well, if you can see, I'm, I'm sure you can see as well, it's much thinner than the actual Neo 2s. And if you actually put your hand in the boots and feel them, they are so much thinner. Uh, thinner, but just as soft, if not softer, uh, out out of the box than the uh, the normal Neo Twos. Um, the sole plate and stud pattern is, as far as I can see, exactly the same, except this little part here, the cutout that shows that looks like carbon fiber, but it really, I don't think it is. But whatever material they use, have used a different material and just. I guess, as I said, it's probably to make them lighter. I don't know what material they use. I'm not sure um, if it is or it isn't carbon fiber. I don't think it is, but um, 
but yeah, look, I'm not sure if it makes a huge difference. I believe the weight difference is really, really minimal between the two boots. Um, as I'm talking, the other thing I wanted to show you, oh, okay, I didn't know that. So insoles apparently now have little cutouts in them. I didn't know that, uh, but the reason I took the insole out is, if you remember my last video on the Morelli Neos, um, from the recent drops, they've got rid of the texturing, which provides a lot of grip, and I can confirm they did, so it just feels like a normal insole, which is a shame, because I really, really liked it, um, compared to what you get in there. Uh, oh, actually, the branding's a little bit different too. Usually says Morelia, but this one doesn't say Morelia. Huh, interesting. All right, um, so that's, uh, for me, that's a, that's a loss, Mizuno. Um, really, oh, actually, another one. Um, not sure if you can see, but you can, well, you can see the lights, but you, I can actually see through this part as well. So, again, the... The sole plate might be thinner. Oh, another one. Um, and they've used that same sort of material in there, that carbon fiber-like material. I'm not sure if that is carbon fiber, but again, same material as you see out there. So yeah, a lot of interesting um, changes. I wouldn't be surprised if this becomes, or they redevelop, <coughs> well, excuse me. They um, redevelop this boot to make the Morelia Neo 3 following the, obviously the Neo 2. Um, and I think they're on the right track. They are a little bit lighter. Obviously, this is their speed boot, and as I said in my previous videos, this is just as good as any other speed boot out there. Um, this is my personal favorite boot to wear, and I will be wearing these, um, even though I just, you know, started wearing the brand new limited edition Morelli Neo 2s, um, <laughs> because Mizuno's done a drop of the beta for me, um, I'll be breaking these out. I'm not going to leave them on the shelf like I do with the uh, Fernando Torres ones. Um, these will definitely go on my feet. And I will be having a review coming soon for you. Um, following all the other reviews that I have lined up. Anyways, guys. Uh, we'll put these back in the box. Where is it? Oh, I threw the box away, actually. We'll put these aside. And now it is time for the regular 3. Right guys, so here are the Rebula 3 Japan. Now, I don't think anyone's actually, well, any of the um, bigger football review channels um, have unboxed this colorway yet. So I might be the first on YouTube. All right, so normal made in Japan bag. Let's get that out of the way and get these out of the box. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at these beauties. Now, I don't really like Vault or this bright um fluoro yellow sort of colors and because light my lighting's so bad the color's actually not coming through um quite as well but it is very very bright um and i did choose this this is one of the two launch colorways um i know most of you've seen the exact same except all the vault here is white that's the one that most or if not all of the um reviewers and a lot of the videos that I've seen have put out. I really like this. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Vault colorway, as I just said <laughs> two seconds ago, but the ones that I really, really do like are the ones that actually work really well with the accent colors. Um, one good example for me is the 2014 World Cup colorways uh, from Nike, the Magista um, Obra and Opus 1, the launch color with the, with the Vault and red and gold accents, I really, really, really like those, and especially the Tiempos in the same colorway. Couldn't get my hands on them, uh, would love to get my hands on them, if anyone knows where I could, I would love to. Um, love the boots as well, both Magista um, Opus 1s and the Legend 5s. Um, anyway, so looking at the, uh, the boots, and straight away I noticed the same sort of tongue detail that I saw earlier in the... Um, Morelli Neo 2 Beta, they've got sort of a similar spine-like detail going on on the tongue, which is interesting. Um, leather from around the midfoot onwards, still have the internal CT frame, um, which is the memory foam reinforcement, uh, which worked really, really well in regular 1s and regular 2s um, in terms of providing structure to the leather and also it's meant to be impact absorbent, um, 
again, I do think it's one of those gimmicks, but um, you know, extra cushioning. I don't really, I can't really complain. Um, first time they've changed the uh, soul plate and stud pattern. Well, maybe not the soul plate itself, but the stud patterns have definitely been changed. Um, and one thing I did notice that worked really, really well with the both ones and twos is the deflex groove um, structure. They go down the middle, like their spine, um, and they still have it, I believe. It's a different sort of structure, different sort of spine. I'm sure it'll work well. Um, I think they shed some weight at the back by turning to this. Um, I think it might be meshed based. I'm not sure, but, um, but yeah, look, it's well made and, um, Another new feature here is the tongue, the way they're cut out there. Um, apparently it does hold the uh, the tongue down in place really, really well. I'm not quite sure, obviously not having tried them. Now I've filmed these. I'm sure I'll be taking them out very, very soon. Still have that um, sort of lacing system, the wave lacing system, which is, I believe, carried over from the Morelia Neo line. I'm not sure if they advertise this as the wave lacing system, but um, this does wrap around your foot really, really nicely and provides really, really good lockdown. Doesn't need any sort of gimmicky or internal um, supporting thing. As an example, like Flywire from from Nike, this does a really, really good job. Um, again, I'll take the insole out and show you. Uh, yes, I can also confirm that they did get rid of that texturing that I really, really like. And you can actually see through the um, the regular threes as well. So, yeah, look, just have, by having them in hand and just looking at these little features like the fact that I can see through the sole plate um, with a bit of lighting tells me that they have tried to do uh, what a lot of other companies are doing with the leather boots is shed, um, shed the weight off. Um, so basically you're getting like a leather speed boot. Um, even the sole, uh, sorry, the stud pattern is sort of speed boot-esque. Um, if you like, you know, it's got sort of I know they look round and conical, but they're actually sort of, this is the way the uh, Mizuno brand does the, their sort of way of doing the um, bladed studs. So they're more narrow, I guess, oval shaped, uh, rather than a conical and rounded like the ones at the front. So yeah, look, um, I don't mind it. Um, Regular one was really, really good for me. Regular two, uh, maybe not so much, um, and I'll explain that uh, when I do the review of these boots. I might take those two out and sort of do a comparison, and I always said I'd, I'd do a follow-up, so this might be a good chance to do a follow-up video on the regular twos. Um, the leather is super soft, and I really can't wait to try these out. Anyways, guys, that is it for my unboxing video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Um, if you have high arch feet like me, if you have weird shaped feet like me, if you have wide feet like me, Please subscribe. I, as far as I know, I'm the only um, wide feed dedicated uh, football boot review channel on YouTube. So if you, again, have the same sort of similar feet like me and you need help with sizing, I'm the guy. So please subscribe. Um, comment down below if you have any questions or uh, opinions. I'd love to get a chat going on. Please like the video to support. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching my video today and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.